Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to make edits to images using local adjustments. Local adjustments are editing tweaks that are selectively applied to your images. They are helpful because they give you much more creative control during editing. For the workflow in this video, we are using our award-winning photo editing and organizing application, Exposure. You can download the free trial from our website if you don't already own a copy. Exposure uses a unique layer system that is completely non-destructive. Local adjustments use layers and masks to apply and control multiple effects on a single image. Learn more about using the system in our Working with Layers video. In this video, we focus on using the tools that create the masks to apply adjustments where you designate. There are three main ways to draw a mask in Exposure. The brush, gradients, and selections. Each of these types can be used together in as many combinations as you can imagine. The brush is the easiest local adjustment tool to master. It enables you to create simple selections for adjustments. The effects on the layer will only apply to the area you brush. After brushing, you can easily blend any of the adjustments you make. Click the Brush Tool icon to reopen the panel for additional adjustments or you can click the Layer Mask thumbnail. Use the sliders to control the brush size, feather, and flow. Save brush parameters for different brushes to make the process quicker. Configure a large brush for subtle adjustments and configure smaller brushes like A and B for fine-tuning details. Then you can click the menu to switch between them. Exposure's keyboard shortcuts make this easy. Hold Option or Alt on Windows to toggle the eraser and use Shift, Comma or Shift, Period to rotate through the brushes you have saved in the eraser. The eraser removes brush strokes you don't want. When you begin brushing, you can see a visual highlight where your effect is being applied by checking Show Mask. On the layer mask, the effect is strongest in the white areas and not visible in the black areas. Where the mask is gray, the effect is blended with the original image. To see a larger mask thumbnail, click on the Settings menu at the top of the Layers panel and select the size. Adjusting the layer opacity will blend the layer with your image. The layer opacity setting is reflected in the layer mask thumbnail. A lower opacity amount will display a darker mask. Another way to apply an effect to part of an image is with the gradient tools, which enable you to make seamless natural fades between effects. Gradients can easily be used in conjunction with the other selection tools, and they remain flexible in that you can always revisit them and make adjustments. When using different local adjustment tools, the options in the action menu, such as invert or fill mask, are very helpful. For more details about using these tools, watch the Gradient Tools video on our website. The selection tools enable you to quickly create detailed masks. They can also be blended with the other tools in powerful ways. Selections can isolate an object in the foreground from being affected by effects applied to the background, or they can be used on only the subject and not the background, or both at the same time. If you want to learn more about using these tools, there are several videos on our website that demonstrate how to use each of the selection tools in detail. Constraining selections based on image colors is a fast and precise way of applying effects and exposure. The color constraints generate a selection mask using the luminance, saturation, and hue characteristics of the image. Hue range presets generate a mask for one color in the image that needs adjusting. The selected color can be modified by adjusting the wheel and the sliders below. The show mask option is helpful for visualizing where the effects from that layer will be applied to the image. Combining color constraints with the other masking tools in Exposure give you an amazing amount of control over the editing adjustments you make. For a detailed walkthrough on using the color constraints, 
check out the 3D masking deep dive video on our website. If you notice the edges of the selection are jittery or have pixels that are empty, use the Suppress Noise slider. This will reduce the sensitivity of the mask noise filter and fill in those grainy areas. If the edges of the layer mask are too sharp, that can create haloing after the layer effects are applied. Use the feathering to ease the transition between masked and unmasked areas. This creates a gentle blur around the edges, which help the effects you apply on the layer fade in naturally with the photo. As you can see, making local adjustments in exposure gives you total creative control over your images. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. For more information about Exposure or to download the free trial, visit our website, exposure.software. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for the latest updates about all our new video content.